morning. Here we are on the Claydon Farms and you can see this is not a very nice morning in what should be the middle of harvest. It's very grey here. We've had eight successive days of rain. So it's a really good excuse for me to come and have a look at my all seed rape stubble and see what's actually happening here. As you can see there are a few birds on it and that's a giveaway because what are they after? Um, probably those slugs and what we're going to look for here is, is some slugs today. So far on this rape stubble we, we straw harrowed straight behind the combine and got a lot growing and we've straw harrowed it again since then and killed a lot off but we've still, still got some all seed rape coming here now which will leave some of it as a semi cover crop maybe and maybe we, if it's too thick we'll straw harrow again to thin it out. But in this process of straw harrowing will disturb those slugs and those slug eggs which is absolutely key to getting a really good next crop. So I come up here and have a look at this whole seed rape stubble and check it for slugs and see what there is about. The best way to find out slugs on an all seed rape stubble is to clear the residue where it hasn't been moved for several days and you'll find slug eggs. Here I've pulled a, a, a rape stalk up and just on the stalk you'll see there's a big fat slug there and just on the other side there's one of his babies, a juvenile. They build up a lot of in the stubble here between planting the next crop of winter wheat and they can come up and decimate those wheat seeds as we've all seen in the past. So it's really important to come here when it's damp like now and check for these slugs and see if they're about. And also looking at the soil here, you can see um, there's one just on the surface here, a small one there and uh, the best way to get rid of them is just running the straw harrow over again and taking those eggs and exposing them on a sunny day and also several of these will get hit by the straw harrow tines so keeping those numbers down is absolutely important when you're in a direct drilling situation whatever system you're using but with a Claydon system we found early days that we had big problems with slugs if we left the stubbles and didn't do anything to them ignored it and went away we can't use pellets like we used to, as we all know. Um, we've got the iron type pellets now, which are pretty effective, but let's not rely on all these chemicals and pellets. Although they're needed and we'll still use them, um, we, we'll make sure that culturally we take as many of these slugs out as we possibly can. And so it's really important to come and inspect the stubbles now in a damp time when the slugs are rising and near the surface and ideally straw harrow these the minute the sun starts to come before we're able to go harvesting again. So there's a few tips for you when you're coming into doing lower disturbance or less tillage on your rape stubbles, watch out for these slugs because these can be a big problem going forward. So that's the tip from Claydon Farms for you today to get really, really good results in your coming crops the next harvest. So keep safe and keep well and we'll catch you all another day.